Hey y'all, I got a lot of videos, and this is um your Tuesday post. Stop dropping, roll on, and um I'm here for to do my think on it now um situation. And um anyway, y'all, it was just. I just kind of had a whole lot of ideas. Um, I still feel like I don't know exactly where I fit in it because we got a, a guru as far as like um, computer stuff, and then we got you know medical, and then we got um, hair and health and all that stuff, and then we got the mom with the children and the husband and. You got me. <laughs> but uh, I guess this week, just something just really strange came to me. And, you know, I was thinking about uh, statistical stuff. I mean, looking at these people, it's just like seems like right now getting married in Hollywood seems to be like the thing. Okay. And uh, I'm like, Okay, what's going on here? We got a trend. At one point, we was doing one thing. Um, then the next thing, we was doing something else. And now, right now, everybody wants to get married. And, of course, when you get married, you do have to get married in a Vera Wayne dress. Um, yeah, okay. So, the other day, I was on my computer and I was looking up something. And on this site that I was on, there was a statement that said that it was a contest. And it was really, really weird because the contest was like, um, what was it? It was a miracle. It was a contest sponsored by Miracle Whip that... I think I want to say it was $25,000, either $50,000, and this is what it said, towards your marriage or your divorce. And I looked at that, and I was like, okay, y'all, this is a joke, right? And I kept looking at it, and I was like, no, these folks are serious here. And I read it, and I'm looking and thinking, okay, this is crazy. And I'm sitting up here thinking more deeply about it, that have we gotten to the point where it's so flippant? You know, I mean, are people just like, is is a divorce like viewed, or marriage, I should say, not divorce, but marriage viewed kind of like leasing a car or like renting an apart apartment like with a short lease or something like that? Because that is what I'm getting. And I was like, I have never, I never thought I would live long enough to see Somebody running a contest that will be geared toward your marriage. I can get with that one. Or your divorce. And I got to thinking that a lot of times what is going on here, and I mean in our age range, marriage is a little different, number one. Um, because if... A lot of times if people get married between the, the 35 and the 60 age range, it's usually, usually a second marriage. Rarely is it, you know, the primary marriage. And so you've got some things that you're bringing into it. It could be children. It could be grandchildren. Definitely a, a, an accumulation of things. You know, it could be two homes. It could be several cars. It could be a whole lot of stuff. And so... um I, you know, I thought about that, you know, kind of echoing something that a gentleman had did on a vlog this morning when I just made that statement. And I thought, that is true, you know. And, and y'all know the, the street term, more money, more problems. That can be really, really true in these type of aspects. But the other part about it is, is that I'm finding out that I kind of think a little different and that People, there are common characteristics of the genders, I think. This is my own personal theory. I have not seen it in a book anywhere. It could be somewhere that I just haven't, you know, got the book yet. But I remember 
about uh, two years ago, I was sitting down. I look at documentaries on television. Uh, usually, it, it really don't, I won't say it doesn't matter what it is, but I do look at a lot of documentaries. And it was this tribe. I will never forget this because I called my sister and me and her were just like ballyhooing. And um, she, th these people were out in some remote tribe, way off in some woods down in a gully in some trees with a canopy I mean I'm exaggerating but I just want y'all to get in your mind remote no Xbox no computer no they might have had some electricity or something but I think the folks was even probably filming on battery packs and stuff now, that's just my assumption because them folks didn't have nothing and uh, the women the men were the gatherers. The women's job was the kids and uh, whatever the men bring back to, to cook. And then they had this thing and they were talking about the tradition and they had one person that, you know, was like they always have a person that is um, interpreting, translating. And this woman was talking to the interpreter and she was like, yeah, every year we just get so excited because it's another tribe that's way, way, way far away. And my girlfriends basically, and I'm paraphrasing, they live in that tribe over there. And so like every year we get so excited because they come in and we just look so forward to just getting together and talking. Well, they had this big old ceremony where they, you know, eating uh, roots and, and, um, I think they killed something that was out there ro roaming around or something. I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember what it was. I don't need me to get that in my mind right now. But it was like this big old festival. And it was all sorts of time for the young guys and the young girls to kind of see each other and show off and all that stuff so we could see who done grew up since the last time we got together. And um, she, the lady, I mean, at the time, they were there long enough for them to see this festival take place. It was a lot of preening and all this stuff, and they made up. The day of the festival, like, remember I told you, it was the guys, these dudes, the ones that supposed to go and gather the stuff for the festival. The women, now this is a, please remember that I said very remote off somewhere in the another stratosphere the women were sitting around and inter and then you could see on their faces that they were perplexed and that they were frustrated and angry and so the interpreter's like well what's going on here you know what what's the problem here and they talked to the lead woman who had been doing most of the talking and she said we got these kids here we got guests in from out of town and these men and it was the men, local men and the men from the other tribe are out there sitting up smoking smoking the reed or something some kind of reed it was something that they grew out there that they smoked and it made them feel good smoking the reed and they haven't even thought to go get the roots and pull the stuff in and bring it in so we can get it done. And they all sitting around there. The women is just like this because they can't do nothing until these dudes go and do what they supposed to do. And she said, they sitting over there trading all these stories. And 75% of the stories is lies. <laughs> when she said that, that's when I lost it. Because I'm sitting up there and I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, and I'm not male bashing, don't get me wrong. But this is stuff that we see in everyday life. And I'm going to tell you the truth. There is a biblical situation. Now I'm going to bring the Bible in this some kind of way. Where the Bible tells clearly that the older women are supposed to teach the younger women. Okay? Um, About what to expect. Had an idea of what to expect when I got married. But I think that what people do is almost like, I won't call it hazing, but people don't really tell you the entire story of things that are required that of you when you get married. You know, um, they don't explain to you. It's just like all we really kind of zero in on is one or two things the physicality part of it and I got me a man, that kind of stuff. Or I got me a woman. You know, however you want to, whatever your vantage point is. But the truth, the real truth telling of 
how things are for real and what the expectations are. In addition to what we reading in the Bible, that stuff don't never come out. And you'll hear people all over making these comments about, if somebody would have told me, I wish I had known. I had no idea, dot, 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 after each one of those statements. And so, it's not like it's a secret code. It's just that people really do need to know the truth. Because then when it gets down to these situations, we wouldn't be having a Miracle Whip commercial where people get hacked off. You know, and they had literal people standing up there talking about, if, if I ever walk in and see my husband making a sandwich with Miracle Whip, it's over. And all that stuff. And that, I mean, it was a, some of it was joking and then some of it was for real. But I'm like, that's how flippant we are about marriage. And the expectations of marriage. And the things that happen. Because what cracked me up more than anything. Made me laugh I should say. Is that. At any given time. Here in these. You know. Uh, United States. Somebody could be sitting up. Having that same feeling. That that woman. In that tribe. Way 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 off. Somewhere in a remote area. Had. She verbalized some of the same stuff that um that I hear sometimes. And that I, I have to raise my hand up and say that I've said at times. And so, you know, I got to thinking. And these are my questions or things I want to think about. When you, uh, for somebody to think on, is when you, like, when you run across people that are about to get married, do you fix the story up? Or do you give them the truth? In love and letting them know also mixed along with marriage being an honorable thing, which it is. God really does honor it, okay? Um, I have had my best years since I've been married. But I'm just saying, and I've had some rough ones too, in all honesty. You know, and I'm not going to sit here and candy coat and fix stuff because it's not perfect all of the time but I wonder you know when people are putting the veil on or doing whatever do you or uh, before you even get the veil is it do you ever influence people enough to the point where you just tell them you know there will be days when you don't want to and you will need to there will be times when you just don't know how and this is when you do this, you know. And um, I just wonder about that. And I wonder, and this is the rest of the, the thing, is if we were more honest when we're talking to people prior to marriage, if people would take it a lot more seriously and not as something just to do, but as a true commitment, you know. And um, that's that's what I got. That's what, that's all I got is what I'm going to say. And if you got some comments or something, you know, about what I just said, just put it down below. That's all I got. Toodles.